Right, just leaving. Sandringham. Sandringham, thank you. Let's wait for you to say it. Yeah, right, yeah, it's alright. You weren't going to say it? Then. No, no. <laughs> we'll give you the chance to uh, remember where we've been. Yeah. Right, so yeah, so we're off to the fill the gap in now. Thetford. <laughs> off to Thetford Caravan and Motown Club site. Yeah. Which is a no facilities site again, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, it's no facilities full stop. It yeah, that's what I mean. It's any. normally no yeah. facilities, so it's that's uh, right. It's no different. No. So any, any prices there are, are what you what you pay. I think it's quite a little bit cheaper, isn't it? Though, because yeah. of no facilities. Yeah. Continue half a mile to the end of the street, then turn left. Okay. Um, what? You're going. Which way are you going? Left here. I'm yeah. going left here, yeah. Yeah, okay. I think. Yeah, you are. So that's the way we came in when we came back yesterday. Yeah, that's the way we came in, isn't it? Yeah. Just seemed a bit more logical. And a bit shorter, actually, to get to the road, wasn't it? No, you're further up the road. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, it's right. just okay. it's a wider road. OK. You turn left coming out of the site, yeah. you can go that way, but it's a bit narrower. Yeah. That's the way we came in, wasn't it? There's less there? overhanging trees this way. Yeah. Oh, sorry to leave here. I yeah. really liked it. Yeah. Have to come back. Yeah, we will. Hopefully when they've got the facilities open. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At the end of the street, turn left. I mean, someone was saying why they not opening sites with sims. I suppose really it's because they've not been able to, on some sites, uh, get COVID cer uh, certification for them. Perhaps, I, mean, I don't know, cubicles are too close together or, the, or something. Yeah, well it it's does involve a lot of cleaning, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, I think it was when we were at Chester, they were talking about they got to close it for two hours yeah. in order to do a really thorough clean. And they've got three blocks here as yeah, well, Yeah, that's they? right. So which one do they keep open, you know, yeah. it would be, yeah. be like that. Left onto a 149. No trouble with this road, doesn't it? Yeah, well, this, this is wider than the other one. Yeah. So we're going left at the end here. Yeah. Back on the famous A149. So it's A149? Yeah, A10 for a bit I think it is, and yeah. then uh, A134, and then down, and then up the splidge. A splidge? A splidge. Yeah. Okay. The name ban banter again, or whatever it was. <laughs> yeah. In, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Trust us for a name banter. <laughs> oh, right. Dear. Right, okay. So we'll catch up with you later with a bit more inane banter. Yep. Cheers then. So we've come down the A10 a bit, haven't we? Not, not very far. Look, yeah. Five miles. Take the first exit. Three miles. And this takes you on to the A134 towards Thetford. Yep. Which is the way we used to come, isn't it? Well, when we used to live in, in Hertfordshire, we yeah. used to go down the A10. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a bit of a left and a right here.
Arboretum down there. Okay. Do you remember we used to go to that? Do we? Yeah. Okay. HGVs. Oh yeah. Yeah, we had a quick consult with the people in <laughs> in the van in front. They said this is definitely the way. This is definitely the way. It's here on the right. It's, it looks like an old airfield. Um, I, it, it, I think it was an old airfield, wasn't it? Seem it to remember like around it, here. Yeah. yeah. Old concrete uh, slabs. Well, so you doubted Mrs. Satnag, didn't you, again? Well, I did doubt her, but she is correct. And I, I don't remember this last time we were here. Do you remember it? We didn't. We've never been here. We've that's never why been we here. don't ever remember it. Oh, that's it. why I don't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let them book in first. Yeah. So the forest walk is just sort of here, is it? No, not not for this these ones. Well, I suppose it is. This one, you're very near to the chemical emptying as well. Yeah. Uh, this one so here. You've got, yeah, it's just chemical things just up there. Oh, right. Number four. This one will be all right here. Do this one or number six, which is just here. I think that might be better. I think. 53. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, one. okay. Or oh, this one. Now well, that's right next to the okay. yeah. water. Well, this one here. One here, we do. Right, we're here. We're on pitch 53. Yep. It goes round there, so we'll have to have a walk up there a little bit later. And yeah. Go on, Pops, we're going to check in. Yeah, so we've got the information hut, so no visitors as before. Uh, you can't those. They haven't got like leaflets or anything, just got the notices up. Shall yeah. I have a look? Yeah, you have a look. Better do the thing there. You yeah. don't have to do it if you're not oh. going in, are you? Going in? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just about to see you one. <laughs> do you want to? You can hold the camera. Pre-programmed now. We see hand sanitizer. <laughs> We've got the 7th Armoured Division Tank Regiment's camp area. Yeah. Orderly room and. <laughs> they do with the desert rats, isn't it? Was it? Yeah. Well, 7th Armoured, yeah. Yeah, there's a thing about Desert Rats Association. Oh, there? so you didn't know that anyway? I'd like to know, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. To sound familiar. And there's a new Cromwell tank there. Yeah, Cromwell tanks of the 5th Royal Tank Regiment at Shakerswood in May 1944, preparing for D-Day. Oh well. What do you think? So what's on there's Mun Munford Fish Bar. Came through Munford. Do we? There's yeah. a Hilborough Swan takeaway. Yeah. Hilborough Swan takeaway. Now uh, sweet up. St Mary's Church, Wayland Visitor Centre and Dragonfly Gallery, map of Norwich, we haven't been to Norwich for years have we? Alright, okay, anything else we can see? It also says about ticks as well, so we're, we're well aware of um, pleasant Lyme disease plus the what do they call it? The seasonal illness for dogs. And we do keep Poppy on a lead when she's in the forest areas. You sit down now. And she sit down now. All right, okay. Okay? Yep. Yeah. There's a little thing about all the plants and fungi and mammals, bats. 
door, dormouse, common frog, all the birds. All right. There's a plane noise. But yeah. Lake and Lake here, it's not far, yeah. That's so that where we used to stay at Mildenhall. Mildenhall, wasn't that? Yeah, it's alright that side. Yeah. That's now gone, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's not in the caravan and motor club anymore, but I don't know whether it's still a site. Oh, it might, it might be. The volunteer one, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Coffee, yeah, coffee awning. You don't want to have a wander up the, the end. Oh, lecky on or anything, that way. No, okay. Do a lecky and coffee then. Part of the grass. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> right, got the awning up. I don't think it was in record time this time though. Mainly just our ground, wasn't it? Well, I, I was reading as we came in that this was home to the 7th Armoured Brigade and uh, I think this is where they used to park their tanks because there's absolutely mm. no danger of sinking into this ground. It's absolutely rock hard. Yeah. There's about an inch of gravel and about seven foot of concrete and steel and reinforced girders. So you're really looking forward to taking all these pegs out? Aren't I you? think and I might just have comes. to leave it, leave them in. We'll just leave the awning here. <laughs> yeah. yeah oh, okay. So I'm absolutely exhausted. We haven't had a look round the site yet, but uh, I'm just going to enjoy a, a cold beer. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll catch up with you in a little while. Old trees here, look at those over there. They're very tall, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, and we'll find the dog walk as well. Well, that's in the forest, I think. Yeah, well, the, the walks are all to the Outside of the campsite. Yeah. Obviously. Some bins here. Water. Oh. Stop for a sniff. Stop for a sniff. Uh, chemical waste is there as well, so we'll find it. Oh it's there. That's alright, isn't it? Yeah, there's a storage area at the back of the, this sort of area. I can get through over there. Yeah, he said that there was a turning round area here. I think that's must be it, it must here. Must be here, yeah. <sighs> Looks like the. Uh, I lost you again. Yeah, stop for another snake. Looks like the motor and waste points over here. There's a motor service point there, chemical waste and water there. Okay, let's go and find the dog walk. Through there, then. No, I don't think so. I think it's oh. I think there's a there is a spot somewhere up here. Yeah, I found them.
looks like goes off over there as well. All right. <laughs> Talking to myself. Sorry? Yeah, so it looks like it goes off over there and over here. There's quite a few walks. Yeah. Uh, a couple of people have said to us about the um, seasonal illness thing. Yeah. Uh, and we're deliberately keeping Poppy on a lead and not letting her in the undergrowth, keeping to the paths. Path that probably goes all the way around the side. Is it? Well, not all the way round, but down that side, yeah. Does that? Okay, you want to go that way. One theory is that it's harvest mites that are causing the seasonal illness, and they lurk in the undergrowth, waiting to pounce on unsuspecting dogs. Yeah. So we're going to try and keep out of the undergrowth. Yeah. And it looks a bit overgrown over there. We'll have a look. It'd be a shame to miss out on the wonderful forest here. Yep. You know how big the forest is? No. No, I don't either. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me. <laughs> it's a disappointment. Yeah, I'll find out. It's nice and cool in the forest as well. Yeah, okay. yeah it looks like it goes around the campsite, doesn't it? It's nice to see some uh, more traditional trees as well. That's an oak, isn't it? Yep. Loads of little acorns on it. And little acorns. Yeah. This is very pleasant. Just, oh, mind the dogs. There's a deer over there. You probably won't yes, see it. A uh, little uh, wow. monk jack deer, yeah. little thing. Yeah, it brings us out just by the entrance here. Yes, this is quite a impressive looking thing, isn't it? Yeah. So 7th Armoured Division. That's it's something else. to Italy, the Thetford Forest, France, Belgium, Holland. Holland yeah. And they stationed here between January and May 1944 where they prepared. Yeah, Alamein so, via the Baltic to Berlin. Yeah. It was little Audrey, that tank. Not much little about it, is it? Well, hopefully, 
if you can hear me above the traffic, it's, it's saying that they landed on D-Day, they landed at Gold Beach, which is where we went yeah. Uh, we stayed when we visited at Aramanche, isn't it? Yeah, we stayed in a, an air, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Gold Beach. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so they were actually been where they went then. Yeah. With their training and, and yeah. to that beach. Yeah. So the Seventh Armoured Division was stationed in Thetford Forest between January and May 1944, while they prepared for the invasion of Normandy. And it was the only time the division was in the United Kingdom. In its entire existence, the division sailed from Felixstowe on the 5th of June 1944 with the first tanks landing on Gold Beach in the evening of 6th of June 1944. Yeah, it says, may your glory ever shine, may your laurels never fade, may the memory of this glorious pilgrimage of war you've made from Alamein via the Baltic to Berlin never die. It is a march unsurpassed all through all the his, uh, the story of war. May your fathers long tell the children about this tale, Winston Churchill. Yep. Yeah. And there's actually a, a walking trail here. The desert rat trail. Yeah. Two miles. Yeah. So we. Oh well, yeah, we think. Yeah, well. Around the camp. Yeah, around the campsite. Yeah, so it goes up, back up into the woods. Back up into the high ash wood, and then back down here. Oh, we'll do that then. Poppy, come, come back. back. <laughs> <laughs> what do you know? Come here. Yeah, we are. Right, so here we are. Thetford Forest. And if you look up what three words, that's where it is. You got that, Pops? Yeah. <laughs> come on. Right, so that's it for this little video. Um, this is take two, actually. We had a plane going overhead and someone throwing bottles in the bottle bin. So we'll give yeah. this a second go. So uh, it's just really a, a summary. Um, yeah. So obviously it's the Thetford Forest site. Thetford yeah. Forest is the largest lowland pine forest in Britain. 47,000 acres. Right. Yeah, so we. It, how much did it cost them? How much a night? Yeah, that yeah. was the next thing. Yeah, so it was £114.60. Yeah before the VAT adjustment, right. but we reckon it's an average of just under £20 a night. Right, yeah, about, 19 about pound 19 a night, pounds. something like that. We don't get a receipt, so we don't really know what uh, no. what the price is, so um, phone yeah. signal. Phone signal, um, seems to be okay, very good on Vodafone, I watched a video earlier on. Um, there's EE, a helicopter coming over. There's a helicopter now. EE was, wasn't quite as good, but I could still load pages and whatever. Should we oh. wait for the helicopter? It's right. not the quietest, is it? No, there's a fair bit going on, isn't there, yeah. with uh, military activity. And uh, So what, else, what have we got planned? We've got Tomorrow we're going to Castle Acre, yeah. got tickets for that. Yeah. Um, I'm going on a family history um, research thing on Friday yeah. to a village called Carbrook, where yeah. my, one side of my dad's family originally came from. Yeah. Then we're going to Oxburg House on Sunday, where yeah. Mary Queen of Scots was imprisoned for a while. That's a national trust. Okay. We book tickets for that, and we want to do the desert desert rat Stray. trail. Yeah. Here, don't we? Yeah. And film that. Yeah. So we've got quite a bit to do in the six days we're here, yeah. haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. So we just. Note, oh, we'll yeah, I think we'll we'll end it here. <laughs> I think uh, <laughs> I'm quite tired after putting this blooming horn up. The um, the ground is so hard here. Yeah. Yeah. Quite incredible. Well, it's because it was a uh, tank training place. Yeah, I it? suppose so. It's probably got squashed down. But I, I think it's suspect it's just the concrete underneath has sort of got baked. Yeah. But yeah. So anyway, if you like the video, you know what to do. Give us a thumbs up, and then subscribe, and we'll catch up with you in the next one. Comes a helicopter. It's coming round again. <laughs>